Each night in downtown San Diego, dozens of homeless youth gather at the Youth Assistance Coalition. It's a safe place to find a meal, people who care, and the hope is a brighter future. Here, the young people are guided to whatever services they need, be it food, shelter, clothing, anything that is needed, the Youth Assistance Coalition either has an answer or will find one. The coalition's goal is to positively impact the lives of youth experiencing homelessness through empowerment, mentorship, and community collaboration in order to provide transformative opportunities. At times, what is needed is short-term housing. Youth Assistance Coalition founder and executive director, Heather Lazan, was led to a possible solution. With the help of the Lucky Duck Foundation, whose goal is to prevent and alleviate the suffering of homelessness, the Youth Assistance Coalition was able to move into this home. The opportunity was given to me for the house, and I'd always said I wasn't doing housing, um, but at that particular time I'd had a lot of moms and babies in hotels, or young women with um, small children, or just kids that are turning 18 that are leaving the eight, under 18 shelter, and I've got a week or two until they can get into the next program we're getting them into, and it just didn't feel right. It, I felt like we were doing more disservice to them by having them in these locations, and it was really expensive. This home adds five emergency shelter beds for less than the cost of one government-subsidized emergency shelter or hotel room. It was not a simple process. The house had been abandoned for nearly a year and was in poor condition. But then, a small miracle. That is, if you can call 100 volunteers, small. The Church of Latter-day Saints, amazing, absolutely amazing from Poway. They came with 50 people in the morning, 25 in the afternoon. We cleaned all the yards, we painted the whole entire house. It was an amazing day. Liliana helped to get the house in order. She was once homeless, so she knows firsthand how a home like this can help. This house is so homey, I love this house. I can't wait till we get like a little family to be able to move into the room over there and they can be able to grow and make memories because when you have a kid, you want somewhere where they feel safe and at home. It's not permanent shelter, but it is a home on the way to finding a long-term housing solution. This will help us not send somebody away. You know, this will help us not have them sleep on the ground. We get so busy in the masses that we forget the singles. And for us, it's about the singles and really paying attention to what those needs are and how we continue to give them hope to keep going. A formerly homeless, responsible, trustworthy young man lives here to supervise all that goes on. If I can put them in here versus one night on the street, like, it changes their life, you know? So it's really for this smaller grouping uh, population or a young family, you know, with the baby or a single mom with the baby, you know, where it, they need a safe place to be. Although temporary, experiencing a warm home should be a valuable experience in so many ways for so many young people in need of assistance.